Hello and welcome back to Sandra's Shelf where we talk all things self-help and recently we've been talking a lot of relationship self-help. I hope you find these videos helpful or at least another point of view in the topics that you're dealing with. So today's topic is how to become your own best friend. Now, although it might seem like a light-hearted topic, if you're anything like me and you've been through similar experiences, this might actually be a hard topic. It might be your first time actually befriending yourself and accepting yourself and trying not to hate yourself. So I want to go a little bit into my experiences as I share these tips with you. And I need to warn you, I need to give a trigger warning that some of these um, experiences are not very, you know, lighthearted. Uh, they tackle depression and uh, thoughts and behaviors that I've had uh, that are very harmful towards myself. With that in mind, please assess your mental health and, you know, figure out if you're able to watch this video at times. I'm obviously not going to go through gruesome details or anything like that. I am just brushing over my experiences as much as I can while trying to, you know, relate to the tips and the growth that I've had in the last few months. Before we get into the tips, I just want to explain a little bit of my experience. So right now, I would consider that I have no best friend but I am becoming my own best friend. And so this thought a few months ago or even a month ago would have really frightened me and would have really made me feel super depressed and anxious and sad because we are grown in a society that makes you believe that you must have X amount of friends, X amount of close friends, and if not, you'll never survive this world and etc. Now, if you don't have best friends, that does not mean you don't have connections to other people. That does not mean that you cannot develop strong and meaningful connections and relationships with other people and build these friendships. However, I do believe that it's wrong to mislead children and teenagers and adults into thinking that they need uh, those exterior friendship in order to you know develop themselves and to be happy and less depressed I believe that your number one friendship and your number one priority should always be yourself you're gonna take you everywhere you go anywhere you go and for as long as you can if you're not friends with yourself you're gonna go through a lot of hardship and a lot of heartache the reason why I'm saying this is because it's been 24 years of my life and I've been through these heartaches constantly and I could not figure it out. I kept thinking, it must be me. I must be doing something wrong in the friendship. So yes, I'm not 100% perfect in all my friendships and my relationships, definitely not. But however, there is one thing that really, really, really makes it my fault and I'm not trying to blame you or you know play the victim card in any regards what i'm trying to do is to actually take responsibility my number one problem in these relationships is that i didn't value the friendship with myself within myself first and foremost which is what you're supposed to do if you want to harness healthy relationships and friendships so that is why currently right now as it stands, I'm only best friends with myself and when I am fulfilled and developed in that relationship with myself, then I will have room to share myself and develop further, deeper friendships with other people. As long as they do not counteract this friendship that I have with myself. As we go along, you'll understand more and more what I mean by that. So to explain a bit more on my situation, I have been severely depressed and I will say had some thoughts of harming myself and basically not being alive and not only do I have the thoughts or had the thoughts but I've also acted on these thoughts um, throughout my teenagehood and early adulthood and that is in itself a scary thing to go through and the only person that I had trust to talk to about it is basically myself and sometimes friends if I felt really close with them and you know took a wager and said okay I can trust them maybe they'll help maybe they'll understand so especially in the last year it was my goal to be super honest and you know seek the help that I need whenever I feel terrible and whenever I had these thoughts and obviously you want to talk uh, to 
people that are closest to you that you know say that this, they support you and etc so i feel like i opened up more and more i was sorry guys my cat <laughs> i'm sorry we have a visitor in this video so i was saying that i felt like i was more and more open about my struggles more vocal and i don't know if it's the fact of being open that made people discredit me more versus when i was so secretive about it but at the end of the day these were things that i still struggle with and have been trying to work through by myself as my own friend and i wanted that extra support i wanted to you know be able to talk to a close friend and for them to be like okay what can i do to help or talk to me or trying to find solutions with me i do acknowledge that when it comes to mental health it's no one imperative to truly help you besides professionals that are actually in the domain but if you struggle with monetary funds and you struggle with having that support and you can't have that immediate support then you would hope that the people closest to you such as family and friends you would understand and help to a certain degree so i was crying and i had tears in my eyes and i was saying things like i have a hard time getting up in the morning i have thoughts to hurt myself i i've been hurting myself i've been thinking of dot 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 not being alive and what was more frightening and what cannot be more frightening to a person going to these feelings now that i acknowledge in retrospect is when those statements are being ignored by the people you trust the most that you love the most and that say that support you the most and that kind of makes you feel even more lonely even more depressed and it actually diminishes your relationship to yourself and your self-worth even further to the point where you're like oh these people don't care at all like i am better off dead i am better off hurting myself and harming myself there must be something wrong with me if no one cares what i'm talking about if no one cares that i'm suffering and that i need help and that i i want them to listen to me and i want them to be around me and so those were very scary thoughts to have and although i acknowledge it's no one's responsibility i also acknowledge that it's because of that fracture in the friendship that i have myself that i've actually allowed this friendship to replace that friendship that i'm supposed to have myself now that we got this out of the way i know it was a long explanation but i feel like you deserve to know how i came to this point before we get into this point and like i said this does not mean that you need to go out and ruin all your friendship it does not mean that you need to tell all your best friends that they're no longer your best friend you are supposed to know at the end of the day that you are your number one priority your number one best friend and you should work on that relationship as much as you work on your other relationships that's all that i'm saying in this video and for people that are at that point where i am right now that have you know woken up and realized that i have not been a friend to myself for over a decade and i need to change this because i have allowed toxic friendships or toxic relationships ruin and rule my life this is more that video right now this is more that video that i wish i had encountered when i was going through these feelings and when i couldn't understand what was wrong with me and obviously there's nothing wrong with me the only thing is i need to develop that friendship and that relationship with myself first so here are my five tips to help you become your own best friend so my first tip is to obviously reassess all of your relationships so when i say reassess all of your relationships i mean all of them especially the ones that you have with yourself and we can have multiple relationships with ourselves so say you have a best friend i'm sure that you don't want your best friend to have toxic relationship with other friends with romantic partners with family members etc so you would obviously support them and you would tell them to you know maybe be careful or reassess the relationship with a certain person reassess their boundaries that they have in order for them to protect themselves and to lead a happy life right so i feel like you need to sit down and not you know uh, make these bold decisions but actually reassess the friendships that you have the relationships that you have with other people are these relationships harmful to you and your mental health and your well-being 
or are they growing relationships are they loving relationships are there things that you can actually work to because sometimes you have these blunders in relationships but you you can work to them as long as both people are willing both parties are willing so now the most important part is to reassess your relationship with yourself how is your relationship with your body how is your relationship with your mental health how is your relationship with your routine with your work with your goals everything you need to really reassess those real relationships that you have towards yourself so that you can be able to work on them to strengthen them to better them and to understand what is causing you that harm what is causing you that disconnect with being your best friend is it your relationship with your body do you hate your body what can you do what steps can you take in order to love your body do you have to look in the mirror every day and say i love you body thank you for carrying me through these days do you need to do affirmations do you need to switch what you're eating do you need to move more you know like it can be all these things when you become your own best friend you realize that you wouldn't want your best friend to feel shitty in their body you wouldn't want your best friend to starve their bodies you wouldn't want their best friend to hate their bodies and that's the same thing with yourself so similarly my second tip is to respect your commitments so every relationship has its commitments, right? You have commitments such as time commitments, energy spent commitments, loyalty commitments, right? You do, you wouldn't betray your best friend. You wouldn't come late to their birthday party. There are so many things that you do and don't do in order to respect your commitment and to make this relationship flourish, right? So now this is the same thing within yourself. You need to respect the commitments that you have with yourself, whether it's goals, whether it's setting time for yourself, whether it's just taking yourself out on dates, and so much more, whether it's taking care of your skin, taking care of your health, taking care of your business, whatever it is, your commitments, you should stick to them first, and then you'll see if you're able to practice this sticking to commitments, sticking to commitments with other people that you agree upon will be much easier to stick with too. Therefore, in order to stick to these commitments, you need to be, first of all, reasonable and you need to be honest with yourself. There is, it's the same thing with goals. If you set yourself these crazy lucrative goals, but you cannot you know, work towards them, then you demolish the commitment to yourself. You put your relationship with yourself at risk. You are risking your best friend relationship within yourself. Now, my third tip is to give yourself permission. Now, what do I mean with that? Keep in mind that you're supposed to be honest with yourself and you're supposed to be reasonable with yourself. So what does this mean? I mean, you wouldn't tell your best friend to go and commit crimes or to do shitty things to other people, right? You'd want them to have permission to maybe take themselves out on a date and give them permission to, you know, feel down when they want to feel down. So this is the same principle towards yourself. If you want to do something, you shouldn't be waiting and relying on other people to do them. So I'll give you an example again. I've always wanted to start book clubs and uh, get people to read and share work together and whatnot. But you know, came to the point where I was waiting for them in order to take that initiative and I was waiting for them in order to do those things. Now, it's good to have accountability with friends, it's good to have shared interests with friends, but at the end of the day, if your friends don't wanna do it and they don't wanna to commit to it, then it's your responsibility to do it for yourself and commit to yourself. So I've always wanted to have a book club, but all of my friends never respected the book club. I chose the book once, I read the book, Everyone, you know, obviously everyone has their own lives and their own schedule. So I understand that. So what I'm doing instead, because now I am my own best friend, I started a booktube channel. I started a channel where I talk about books. And in the future, I'm going to have book clubs with the people that are watching my channel. And like that, I get to have what I want, do what I want. I don't need permission. I will just do it. And I harvested this relationship with myself, which made me much more happier and confident. It's given me a lot of permission to do so many things that I've always wanted to do, but I've never done because I was always waiting for the right conditions, the right friends, and the right motivation. And you know what I mean? Now, I don't wait for that. I will go on dates with myself. I will go do uh, fun activities that I've always wanted to do with myself 
picnic at a park anything that it is i'm gonna go to and do it because i'm my own best friend and i enjoy my company this is just a reminder you don't need x amount of friends or you don't need x amount of support of friends to do things give yourself permission and do them my fourth tip is to learn how to forgive yourself so as you would forgive your friend for missing your party or for not answering you back for two days uh, obviously within limits you know it's not a friend that always does that it's just you know a few times where you you know you love your friends this you love your friends despite it all and you forgive them so you should be able to forgive yourself too when you make mistakes when you know you're not feeling it some days you should learn how to forgive yourself there's this idea that radical self-compassion is what actually allows you to become your own best friend it's what actually allows you to develop this relationship with yourself a few days ago i watched this ted talk by carissa carner who is a psychotherapist and she was saying that in order to harness this relationship with yourself you need to forgive all of yourself you need to forgive the nastiness you need to forgive the self-critic you need to forgive the trauma you need to forgive all of it you need to forgive what she calls the wounded parts of yourself in order to be able to develop this relationship I'm obviously going to link that video down below for you guys in case you want to know more about self-compassion and how you can become your best friend through self-compassion and my fifth tip is to listen to yourself. You really need to listen to yourself as you would listen to a friend that's going through hardship. You need to listen to what you're saying. You need to listen to your emotions. You need to truly listen with all intent, without judgment and without criticism. And just let your friend, which is yourself, talk. When people actually listen and do not discredit your worries and your fears and your pain, then that actually alleviates those symptoms of depression that actually makes you feel more connected and it makes you feel freer. So now you also need to do this for yourself. You need to listen to yourself without this judgment. You need to be able to separate the judgment from what your thoughts are. Once you do that, you will feel much more supported and you will slowly start to find the all the answers that you need within yourself. But first, you need to take all these steps and you need to truly listen to yourself without judgment, without criticism. Maybe you need to write it out. Maybe you need to record it to yourself and just, you know, sit with it first and then try to find solutions, try to help yourself. And then it will become so much easier to be your own best friend. So those were my five tips on how to become your own best friend. I hope these tips have helped you. As I said, these are mostly tips that I've come up with myself as I'm going through this journey, as I'm learning, as I'm growing. And like I said, please do not discredit your friendships. Friendships that work and that are healthy and that are good for you actually also help strengthen your bond with yourself, your best friendship with yourself because you actually learn through being a good friend to other people how to be a good friend towards yourself and vice versa when you learn how to be a very good friend to yourself you're also able to be good friends to other people because it's exactly how you should be treating yourself and how you should treat other people that actually treat you as well the same way so feel free to share your experiences down below there's no judgment involved i would love to hear your story i would love to try to help you out as best as i can like i said i am not a therapist i'm not a professional these are just my own personal experiences and my own personal tips so if they help I would love to know if they help you if you have tips of your own I would love to hear them as well I know other people that are probably going to look at this video would love to hear them too and for now I'm going to go and find more ways how I can be a better best friend to myself so goodbye and I'll see you on the next shelf mm -hmm.